J. Cole apologized to Kendrick. Fuck all that pussy shit. Oh, shit. Fuck all that shit. Yeah, you have it. Yo, fuck all that shit, man, because it's like that nigga J. Cole went on tour Drake. He know what it is. It's like, nigga, you can't run now. It's you also, all this like. It's up for, it's up for Cole, too? If you say Cole, you can't say up and Cole in the same sentence. Oh, it's like, it's God. Like, it's, it's Are like, apologies even allowed in rap beef, though? I don't know. I've man. never seen no shit like I that just before. Don't, I don't. I don't listen to J Cole, so I wouldn't even know. I just heard he had a song called "False Idols" and told me. Somebody told me it's halfway about me, so it's like that. You know. Wow. There, there you got it, man. Yeah. Did the Hoover concert together? Me and the rest of the world thought y'all were back cool. What happened after that? Like, what happened after that to where y'all didn't? Because I thought once that concert hey. happened. It cuts Drake's soul. It's like he signed a, uh, his soul to the devil to not be cool with me, to have to, like, this is his job to go against God. Wow. Wow. And it cuts his soul. You say rich baby daddy, it's like Drake has a rich baby daddy named Lucian and Universal. Wow. <laughs> He's like, you know, like, man, my daddy got it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, wow. my daddy controlled the spins. My daddy got the DSPs. My daddy, Drake wow. has a rich baby daddy named so, Lucian. So all of his streams and the number ones <laughs> is controlled by someone named Lucian. Well, Lucian worked for people who control the banks in Africa. How did this even come about? Who called who? Oh, uh, yeah, Pluto. Pluto wow. called me. I went to the studio, laid that, and then we... um. You know, went through the you know the creative process, adding the chords, and called the hooligans, called them out in London to get on a joint. And, you know, everybody was very, very excited about the elimination of Drake. Yo, <laughs> we were not excited. We was energized. Wife, who's one other woman y'all gonna have a threesome with? You can pick anyone in the world. There's just one person. I th I think I know what you're thinking, but I'm not even gonna say no names. I just want to see what you would think. Michelle Obama. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta fuck the president's wife. <laughs> All right, till I get this situated, you're just gonna have to deal with this jacket sweater combo. Leave me the fuck alone. Like y'all should be leaving Kanye alone right now. This nigga Kanye West is going bananas. He's going crazy. Well, he's not going crazy. He's not going bananas, but he has entered into the rap civil war. And with him entering into this rap civil war, it's everybody against Drake right now. Drake had a, a friend, a, a companion in J. Cole, but apparently J. Cole said, I'm not, not dealing with this. I'm not about to deal with all this bullshit. I'm just going to let you handle this, Drake. You, you got it, right? You got it. You're Drake. He's Drake. <laughs> he should be able to handle it. Unfortunately, Cole just stepped out of this bout. He stepped out of this race. He said, I don't want any parts of it because this is about to get messy. And it has gotten messy. A lot has been revealed. A lot that really has already been known, at least a lot about Drake's career and a lot about the rest of these guys' career. If we're still talking about the bad business that Drake is doing. And Kanye decided to bring up Lucy and Grange and said that that was Drake's rich baby daddy. And wow, that has been common knowledge for a really long time. It's just great that it's finally being brought up into the forefront. Now, why Kanye is stepping into this is because, you know, Drake and Kanye have a long history now. We thought they were fine after they came together to do the Larry Hoover concert, but clearly that was smoke and mirrors. I mean, but let's be honest. Let's be honest. Who knew that was smoke and mirrors? Like literally this nigga Drake, <laughs> this nigga Drake was crying <laughs> when Kanye was singing on that damn stage during the Free Larry Hoover concert. Crying. Real tears. Real fucking tears. <laughs> so, you know, you thought they were cool. You thought they were good now, but clearly not. Ye still has a problem with this man. He said he's gonna always have a problem with this man. I like having a problem with Drake. He still has a problem with J. Cole because if you don't remember, J. Cole had dropped False Prophets, I'd say in 2016, 2017, maybe? It was a while ago. It was around the time where he dropped For Your Eyes Only. And that's when J. Cole was really putting foot on necks, you know, letting niggas know that they can't fuck with him. He dissed Wale. But throughout the variation of the song, he decided to diss Kanye West. And so I guess Kanye is finally spinning the block on that. He said, play J. Cole, get the pussy dry. And look like that remix. And then when Justin LeBoy decided to bring J. Cole's apology up, he said, fuck all that pussy. 
pussy shit. And while I will have to unfortunately <laughs> agree with Kanye West here, yes, fuck all that pussy shit. I don't know. I have no defense for J. Cole. I really don't. Look, at the end of the day, this is what you asked for and, and this is what you're fucking getting. You can't say anything now. Like, you can't come back around and talk your shit. I don't know what Cole's gonna do at this point. I guess he's gonna drop the fall off and fucking retire because at the end of the day, he basically performed fucking kamikaze on his damn rap career when he decided to go up on stage and fucking apologize to Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> That's what that was. Kamikaze. That was him in the plane running into a building saying, fuck this shit. I don't want to deal with it. Look, it, nothing's been the same for me. <laughs> like nothing. Life, just life has been different. It has it's been depressing. It's been somber. Nothing's going right ever since this nigga J. Cole decided to apologize to this nigga Kendrick Lamar. So yes, I'm kind of perturbed, kind of perturbed and mad about that for sure. I agree with Kanye here. Fuck all that pussy shit. Look, it's war. You chose a side, you stay on it and you fucking fight to the death, my nigga. I was listening to Seven Minute Drill the other day. I'm like, bro, after all these diss songs that came out from fucking Rick Ross and Drake and, you know, AI Kendrick and one, I'm like, Seven Minute Drill isn't that bad. It's actually a good song. But, you know, he didn't stand by it. He said, fuck it. Internet's killing me for it. And I get tired of the internet's opinions because they really don't have any real opinions. And the internet just be trolling half the fucking time. They don't really feel the way they feel. They're saying what they're saying for fucking engagement. So the fact that you're even paying attention to somebody that's saying something about your track for fucking clout in the first place bothers me. And yes, fortunately, Cole was too busy looking into the tea leaves about how people felt about 7 Minute Drill and then realized they don't like it. I don't like what I said. I'm going to apologize to fucking Kendrick Lamar. I don't know how we got here. Well, I know how we got here, but we're going to move on because fuck it. <laughs> At the end of the day, I can't, I can't keep talking about it or thinking about it because if I do, I'm just going to overthink it. Anyways, let me know what you think about what Kanye West had to say in this bombshell interview. Oh, he also brought up the fact that Future called him and when he went and saw Future to, you know, record the Like That remix, Future, everybody was excited to eliminate Drake. Everybody was excited to finally get rid of this light-skinned nigga. And I hope they have a for sure fire plan to do that because this nigga Drake, he's showing that he can handle a 20v1, unfortunately. I like the AI Tupac, Snoop Dogg, and Drake freestyle. I like push-ups. You know, you got Rick Ross and Kanye West stepping in. They're giving K-Doc some time. Look, at the end of the day, you can say, oh, Kendrick Lamar is still on the clock. It's been 10 days since he's fucking supposed to have responded to Drake. It's been 10 days. Look, at the end of the day, yeah, it's been 10 days, but honestly, yeah. <laughs> Rick Ross and Kanye West are definitely giving him buy time right now. He has time because Drake has to answer to these niggas at the moment, unfortunately. But that's just how we feel over here at I Am Savvy Mike TV. Let me know what your thoughts are about all of this hoopla in the comments below. I Am Savvy Mike and this I Am Savvy Mike TV. Peace.